Watch out, Nintendo, you got somebody gunning for your throne. Hello, my friends, I hope you're having a lovely October 16th, 2018, and for today's big story, we're talking about cell phones, because that's what we do here. No, just today we're talking about cell phones. We're talking about the Huawei. Yes, I looked up how to say the name of the company. It's Huawei. I've heard of them before, I, or I should say, I've read about them before, but I never knew how to say their name. Huawei is putting out a new phone. Uh-oh, what is it called? It's called the Mate 20X. Now, why am I talking about phones? Well, because during Huawei's presentation for the Mate 20X, they talked a lot about the Switch. No joke, a decent amount of the presentation for the Mate 20X was about how it's like the Switch, I guess, <laughs> but better. They were saying like, look, the Mate 20X has a bigger screen than the Switch, and uh, it's got a better resolution than the Switch, and you can add in a controller as well. Uh, as you can see, it's got like a, yeah, so like a circle pad and a D-pad. Real D-pad though, so <laughs> one-upped on Nintendo. But uh, I, I don't know if those things come with this device or if you have to buy them separately, blah, 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 blah. So they're positioning it as a uh, competitor to the Switch. But uh, there's one very big difference. I would say there's two differences. Um, first up being it's obviously not going to get the same uh, software support that the Switch is getting, including Nintendo's own first party games, which will never be on that device. <laughs> so unless it's like a Google Play game, then yes, it could appear on that. But that's not going to be the case here. The real difference is the price. As you know, the Switch costs $300. The Huawei, I forget the name again, Mate 20X is going to cost over $1,000. Kind of hard to position yourself as a competitor to the Switch when you're like, here's our thing, it does everything the Switch does, but better. We don't have all the same software, and you got to pay $700 more. All right, everybody, line up. Let's do this. Now, obviously, the... God damn it. The Mate 20X. Why can't I remember that? The Mate 20X has stuff that the Switch doesn't do, like cell phone technology and a browser and stuff like that. It does all stuff that cell phones do because it's a cell phone, a smartphone, a mobile phone, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's very weird to see them play up the gaming aspect of the device. I think it's cool that it features that kind of stuff, yes, but to say like, why go for the Switch when you could go for this? Well, money and games, that's why. <laughs> Sean Snocked over on Go Nintendo says, Hi, I'm Joe CEO from Huawei, and today we're going to compare oranges to apples. Yeah, that's really what it seems like. Um, they both play games they both have a similar form factor although like i said the switch on this device is bigger or the screen on this device is bigger um but yeah you just really can't compare when it comes to output of games you're gonna have a lot more traditional games coming on the switch and then of course again the price like you can buy three switches this is going to be over a thousand dollars you can buy three switches for the price of one <laughs> mate 20x is that what it's called why can't I remember that? The Mate 20X. I'm gonna never, never forget it now. Yeah, so, uh, you know, buy a Switch and two more for your friends or family instead of getting just this one phone. I don't know, uh, maybe they got, like, some big game announcements in the wings that'll woo more people over, but it's gonna have to be, like, some major, major announcements if you're gonna expect people to cough up $700 more, so. Uh, as a phone? I don't know how this device is going to do, but it certainly seems like a nice one. As a game platform that's a threat to the Switch, I don't think Nintendo has anything to worry about. Alright my friends, that's today's big story for October 16th, 2018. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. I'll be back tomorrow for whatever tomorrow's big story is, and I sure hope you'll join me to check it out. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot!